I just wanted to play, uh, you know, Rising Force. Anyway, uh, actually that makes perfect sense because we're taking a look at Kai's theme today. Um, so we're going on Guilty Gear 2 Overture, and, uh, I decided to do one of the easier tracks, which is gonna be Holy Orders. At least easier for me, because, uh, Holy Orders is the song. This is the song that I, the first Guilty Gear song that I learned was Holy Orders. Um, back during the XX days, and, uh, this is the song that I just know so well. So, we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna play along, and, uh, I guess kind of break down how Oli, Oli, Ola orders, Holy Orders works. So, um, how it sounds. So, let's go ahead, and let's just get right into it. Let's just, uh, we got it all loaded up here, and we're gonna go ahead and get it started. I'm going to make sure that I'm actually on the page. Okay. I'm going to make sure that I'm actually on the page and not about to uh, turn off the recording so OBS. So, let's go ahead and let's listen to Kai Kisuke's theme, Holy Orders 3. Okay, so, one of the biggest things that's always changed, uh, when we go from the first game, uh, the very first versions of the, of Soul and Kai's theme, and then they went on to the new versions in X and XX, and then now with, uh, you know, Keep Yourself Alive and Holy Orders in this one, is that this is the top. This is the peak of Holy Orders. <laughs> I don't think there's any way that Daisuke could actually improve on Holy Orders at this point. Like, there is really no way to improve on this song. And, um, many of you guys should know this theme because Kai players are the scourge of Exord. Uh, if you've played Exord, that is. And, uh, this was his theme when, the, when his hair falls down. It goes to this version of Holy Orders. So... Um, one of the coolest things about it is that that little intro, we got the, we got the violin going on, and then we have just, again, crunchy tone. This is why Overture soundtrack is one of my favorites, is this guitar tone is spot on. I want to know how Daisuke, uh, created this guitar tone, but he's doing... And then, uh, what I like to do is I like to add the E at the very end, uh, and then it starts playing the harpsichord part that you guys know from the original, uh, Holy Orders theme, except it's being played on an orchestra, violin, you know, it's, it's different instrumentation, so let's go back. We're, we're gonna go back and play this part again, because... <coughs> Kai's theme has one of the most fun lead parts to play in pretty much any song I've ever played from Blaze Blue, from Guilty Gear, from, you know, Old Killer Instinct, KOF. Kai's lead section is just so much fun, so let's go ahead and let's play it. God, I messed that part up. I haven't played it in a long time, but, um... It, 
it's generally how that goes, but let's just keep, let's keep going. Okay, We're, I'm gonna be playing the entire song without stopping it if I uh, if I'm allowed to continue. But um, yeah, no, there's a lot of fun stuff after after we get the right after we get that part. It's And what I really love about this is that we've got a lot of, um, we've got the... Like, there's just, the melody is so great, we're playing around in E, but, um, the melody is so, so catchy, it's like, one of the best, like I said, it's one of the most fun melodies to lay down on a guitar, just... You know, you've got these open, got open string stuff, that's always fun. Yeah, it, it's really fun to play, and then the chords underneath it, like, You've got, first off, you got one of the most driving, uh, riffs that's ever been put down, which is... Right? So, back it up. Let me back that up. So, I, I messed up a little bit, but that's, this is, uh, the rhythm section that's going on is kind of like a demonstration of just some of the crazy shit that Daisuke comes up with when he laid down the rhythm tracks for this song and this game. Like, one of the coolest things is the... Right? You've got so many cool, uh, you've got this really cool chord progression going on, especially the thing that he likes to do in his, in these songs, is a lot of, uh, flattening this note, which is a very, um, which is like a very neoclassical thing to do, you know, like, uh, Yngwie does this all the time, you know, that... It's also a very 80s thing to do. You'll hear people like George Lynch that'll do it. They'll, um, they'll, you know. Right, they'll do that a lot. And it's just a really cool way to transition into the, you're, you're kind of setting up what chord is coming next. So, you know, you're playing. while also getting to sound, you know, I guess you could call it neoclassical, which is pretty much what Kai's theme is if you listen to, you know, what's being played. So, let's go ahead and back it up a little bit. 
All right, now it's time for the main melody. The other cool thing that's going on when that rhythm part is being laid down is that you've got the, the strings doing the melody and then you've got the lead guitar is doing something like at the end he does this little cool diminished run which is very Ingve thing to do. It's not exactly what he does but um, it's It's generally, it, it's pretty much kind of what he's doing. That's how I've always played it, is doing that little um, diminished run. These uh, little diminished arpeggios. And uh, that's always, I thought that's always just sounded super sick to do. But uh, yeah, this is what I mean by it's one of the funnest fucking songs to play. Is that this other melody, the second main melody that, you know, for the guitar... It's so good. <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to really explain why it kicks so much ass to me, but it is loaded with just the sickest stuff to lay down on the guitar. Like Kai's theme is one of the best Guilty Gear songs ever, and he always gets the fucking kick ass songs in every Guilty Gear that he's in. Pillars of the Underworld in the Korean theme is one of the best songs, if not the best song on that soundtrack for me. Um, whatever his stage is in Iska, I know it's not really, like, character stages, but, like, uh, I believe... I can't remember the names of the uh, songs on the Iska soundtrack, but... And then Roar of the Spark in Strive, one of the best songs. Magnolia Claire, again, one of the best songs on Exord. And Holy Orders, one of the best Guilty Gear songs ever laid down. Let's back it up again. All right, we get to play this part again. Then we got this part again. It's the intro. We're looping back to the intro. But we don't have any guitars this time. This is a great contrast from the intro. Is not having the guitars. Okay, so th there we get just guitars and orchestra going nuts, and that's cool. You get to hear, again, the cool stuff that Daisuke does with his rhythm is the, uh... We get this evil sounding shit that goes on, it's great. And now we have the solo, so let's back it up.
and there we have it that's kai's theme so like the solo again uh like with the zuna's theme is very basic you know like It serves its purpose and you got some cool cool runs and then we got to hear the uh right so we're we're playing you know So yeah, no, that's the end, and it ends in it ends in a great way. We got all this, all this stuff coming together and just going nuts, and uh, then we end it with the guitar solo. Uh, we end it with uh, you know what was like old Guilty Gear signature stuff. So that's pretty much Holy Orders. It's one of the fun. It's one of the most enjoyable, fun songs to play in Guilty Gear, and I absolutely love playing this song. I haven't played it in a while. But, um, you know, there's just so much cool stuff going on when you really break it down. Just, just a lot of the, um, a lot of the things that old Guilty Gear, I guess, doesn't really get credit for is just how hard some of these melodies are, uh, in a few themes, especially in this one, you know, the, you know. That is fairly difficult to play at a higher speed. So there's a lot of cool stuff that goes on, especially the other melody, the melody that the strings take over before we go into the... Like, I've never learned to play it, but, um, well, I've tried to a couple of times, and uh, I kind of know it, but like, oh my god, that is hard to play, hard to transcribe for the guitar. But, uh, yeah, Holy Orders, it's one of the best songs. Like, if you don't know what Holy Orders is, go and listen to it. <laughs> Go and listen to the Overture version. It's the sickest shit, and you'll you'll enjoy it. Trust me. All right, and with that, we are done with Kai's theme. Uh, the next character is probably going to be like Diva's theme. Um, probably Diva or Valentine, as you. I keep calling her Diva, but it's it's Val. Her name's Valentine. Uh, we'll probably go on to her original theme, not Diva. Um, Diva, I've already played before, and I want to save that for later on because it's one of the bigger and you know, quite honestly, one of the best songs in the soundtrack. But um, we're gonna go take we're gonna go take a look probably at the mask does not laugh uh, next. I know some of you guys wanted to see dignity, but I'm gonna be restricting the overture soundtrack to the, all the ones that have guitar in it. Um, I know what dignity is, and dignity doesn't really have guitar, at least when I listened to it um, recently. Yeah, it doesn't have guitar. It's a great song, but it's just not you know this. But, um, yeah, no, we've got, uh, quite a few character themes, we're gonna be taking a look at the Versus themes, and, uh, I believe... the staff roll? Yeah. There's, uh, there's, there's not too many songs in this, there's only, like, ten-ish songs, I think. But, yeah, we're gonna take a look at all those next time. And, yeah, um, go ahead and check out the Teespring store if you wanna, you know, support us. Um, there's also Patreon, where if you pledge as little as a dollar, it only takes a dollar, which is the lowest tier. And a dollar and up will get you uh, early access to these videos when they come out ad-free. They come out about 24 to 12 hours, 12 to 24 hours before the, this video comes live here on YouTube. And uh, yeah, you can also check out the water bottle, which is uh, if you go click the link down below, you get 10% off. I get a little commission off of it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah, take, take care, everybody. Everything down below is how you uh, support the channel. So... I will see you guys next time. Take care and uh, peace.